Right now, though, we have a piece from Jennifer McLogan who explores the whole Grabowski phenomenon. You know, the teams that are named Smith and some are named Grabowski. <laughs> well, Grabowski. I was totally shocked. I said, where the heck did he come up with this? But uh, I felt very honored. Uh, if you're using my name in conjunction with the Chicago Bears, uh, that's, that's a great honor. Jim Grabowski was a tough Chicago high school sports star. His gritty all-out play won him two Super Bowls with the Green Bay Packers. He became a Chicago Bear in 1971. Mike Ditka, who won't be remembered for his dancing, but who can mouth an unoriginal lyric with the best of them, soon had all of Chicago on the same note. Almost overnight, his weird Grabowski's description of the Chicago Bears took over as a symbol of determination and pride the city craved. Tough guys who didn't mind bleeding and hard work. The Grabowski's are uh, something elegant, strength, pride. And I, I think uh, that sound, sounds like Dick. Uh, With all of Chicago, especially the hard hat and lunch bucket crowd, the Grabowski's and Mike Ditka became heroes. There's a lot of people are going to miss some bad. Talks a lot. I talk a lot, but uh, we all make mistakes. If it was his talking that was his downfall, fans say it was that very thing, his ability to stand up to you face to face and speak his mind, that they most admired. Mike Dick uh, has always symbolized the, the Grabowski spirit, you know, get down in the dirt and, and duke it out. And that's, we, we loved uh, Ditka for that. And, and Mike McCaskey? Mike McCaskey is not that kind of guy. He's a Smith. <laughs> He's not a Grabowski. I've heard people say that Ditka uh, should have. And I, I guess I suggested in the column I wrote, uh, I should have just uh, sort of popped them on and walked out, <laughs> which is a nice thought and uh, kind of fun to, fun to fantasize about. Uh, but Dick handled it just right. Uh, he, let, he, let, he let McCaskey uh, play his cool little game. From the horse's mouth is Mike Ditka. Grabowski. Oh, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. I really like to see Dick get, get back in coaching. That, that would be nice. I don't know if it's possible, you know, uh, but uh, I'd love to see him get back in the coaching uh, so I'd have a team to cheer for.